My name is Garth Massey. I'm the corporate agronomist with Morris Industries. Thank you for coming. Uh, I'd like to spend a few minutes talking to you about one of our new products that we've introduced this year at Farm Progress Show. So this product is uh, is kind of an enhancement to our our pear drill and, and sideband openers, basically our double shoot openers that Morris has offered for the last number of years on our contour drills, both the contour and the contour two. So the original opener uh, was uh, was built from from a cast material, so quite a bit heavier. Uh, moving to this injected polymer material uh, is is kind of the direction we've gone. Uh, there's a number of, of interesting attributes associated. Uh, with uh, moving to this polymer material from the cast. Uh, we do have customers that apply both granular, liquid fertilizer, and gas, so the anhydrous ammonia. And this particular injected polymer will allow uh, a, a place to, to inject those three different products depending on the farmer's need. So if we look closely at this, um, this stainless line here, that's where the, the liquid would be injected and it'll be uh, coming down just in uh, just behind that that wear tail at the back um, the uh, the spot that we would inject the anhydrous ammonia tube it's a very small stainless line about an eighth of an inch outside diameter and it actually gets injected there's a small little hole and it, it gets injected right in front of this white hose comes down and comes out uh, this hole in the bottom so it, it provides more of a, a slick place for for those customers that want to apply something other than granular so that was one of the ideas and uh, we've noticed over the years that uh, that really due to the design of the opener these um, these boots, whether it's cast or, or this injected polymer, they basically run in the shadow of, of the steel cutting surface. So as, as this moves through the so soil, the soil flows up and over the shovel and around. And really, uh, the, um, whether it's the cast or the injected polymer boot, really rides in the shadow of, of the steel that's, that's cutting the seedbed. So there isn't a whole lot of wear on, on these. Uh, so we, we moved to this it's quite a unique uh, plastic that, that we're getting uh, from a supplier in Germany. Um, it's quite, quite durable. They actually started using it originally on plowshares, on some of their uh, plows in, in Germany, and well, and in Europe for that matter. Um, so it's, um, it's, it's quite good on its wear properties. And it's also, it's got some, some really nice ductility features, so it'll take some impacts and it'll flex without uh, chipping and, and breaking. So that uh, comes in handy for, for those farmers with rocks on their land and that sort of thing. Some of the enhancements uh, as well, uh, it's, it's a redesigned uh, steel in, in front of it. So one of our, our things we've been wanting to work towards is these have always had a, a pretty stellar performance when it comes to fertilizer seed separation. And we wanted to maintain that performance uh, but also we wanted to look at how can we improve our, our wear life. So this, um, this design has moved to a one-piece design and we've added 32% uh, more carbide to the surface, uh, specifically targeting the high wear regions of the opener. So uh, on this particular opener, the high wear regions uh, for us are on this shank. Uh, there's, there's of course quite a nice uh, car, two carbide tablets on the front, but we were experiencing some wash out of steel behind this. And so we've put this uh, carbide tablet in behind to stop that wear, and that way we'll extend our life. Because you need to have metal behind here, uh, because if it got too thin, then it would eventually break off that carbide tip, and then you're forced with a replacement part. The other area we've increased the carbide surface is along the cutting surface of the of the shovel wing. Because of this material change, um, there, these openers are less prone to build up of uh, fertilizer dust and uh, seed treatment dust uh, in in the seed port here. So they're uh, they're just that much more forgiving as as well. So it was kind of an extra little perk that we got along the way. Uh, probably the last thing I would highlight, uh, one of the benefits moving to this new material is that the profile is quite a bit narrower than our cast material. So the total width of this running through the soil is about an inch and an eighth. 
relative to the cast material, which was uh, about an inch and a half. So, you know, I guess uh, when you're able to have a, a narrower opener running through the soil and, uh, and, a, and less surface area for the soil to stick on on the sides on the way by, uh, that should help reduce our soil disturbance and improve things like field finish and reduce problems with uh, um, soil being uh, uh, spread onto adjacent furrows and, and things like that. So they're all told uh, quite a few nice little perks and benefits tied into uh, this new design. This video is brought to you by farms.com.